Hello and welcome to lesson 5 in the creation of our school management system. In our previous lesson, we dealt with how to create the teacher's database table as we see on the screen here. So in today's lesson, or in this lesson, we're going to deal with how to create a student MS data sheets and all that. So let's dive right into it. But before we do that, let's just go to the student details and then right click on the home button and then just assign a hyperlink to it. Just, just make sure it's uh, placed in this document is selected. Click on home and then OK. So we click on this. This should navigate us to the home page. And basically that is that. Let's come back to that of the teachers and do the same thing place in this document you choose home and then okay click on this we should go home so and then also let's just see if there is the need we just edit the format the change the color the, the background color of this uh, let it be different from that of the students so let's just take note of that so i think the background color here can be <coughs> can be let's say light again okay this is okay this looks good so you can just control s to save so we can then proceed to our um student ms data so just click on a plus sign double click to edit then you just type students ms data so basically uh, that is that so you just right click here go to tab color and then you choose any color of your choice i prefer to go with this color so that is that so we just start with a heading here you just type here student and this data so that is that We're good to go from there so we can just come here and then choose uh, let's see okay here and this one will be okay this cell only jump one cell and then come here. so we have class uh, then we have here mail we have here female and we have here total so basically uh, that is that so we have here with the classes we have uh, let's see kg1 so uh, kg2 so depending upon your the school you are creating it for or for yourself or for your school or whatever uh, sorry we have basic one Please just type the classes the way we are. We're going to be using them somewhere. So it's very important we follow what we are doing right now. Sorry. A basic one here. We have basic two here. We have basic, sorry. Three here. We have basic four here. We have basic five year we have basic six year we have basic seven year we have basic eight year we have basic nine year so i think that is from KG1 to JHS2. So I'll get just three rather. That is to basic nine. So basically that is that. Let's just go ahead and do the necessary uh, formatting. So we just can just select the entire up to this thing uh, here and then merge and center it. You can just uh, increase the font size a bit. You can just change the font style to Times New Roman. You can bold it and then give it a background color of our choice. Think this color looks good. Test color should be white. Think this looks good. Or test color, we can just divide a bit. Think this color be okay. So we are good to go from there. So in here, we can just merge the following cells and center them. So you can just merge this as well and center it. Merge this as well and center it. Merge this as well and center it. So we can equally do the same here. Merge and center this. So we can just after selecting this. Press control on the keyboard and hold it. Don't release your hand. Select this, 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 this, then merge and center them all at once. So after that, you can just go ahead and then do the necessary formatting you need. So just take don't make make sure it's still selected. Release your hand now on the control keyboard and begin doing the 
necessary formatting so we are good to go with this so let's just give it a unique color for the background so we go with this text color should be white when the text color is white i think this looks good for us so we can just go ahead and then select the entire row here you can give it a black background color like this this color should be white so we can just format this give it a different font style times new roman can increase the font size a bit and then bold it as well so we have that as well so let's just select this and then make them in center so after selecting the first one press and hold control key on the keyboard and select the rest and make them in center so we can just do this shit sorry sorry select then press control on the keyboard and hold so i think we are okay here so we need this as well do the same thing there so press control on the keyboard we could have even okay So you can merge them and center them as well. So here, we don't need that. So you can just merge it and center it. <clears throat> so you can just, we need only this one to merge and center. So I think we are good to go from there as well. So the last one, so we select this. So we select this and then make sure you press and hold control key on the keyboard. Then you select the rest. And you go ahead and do the necessary formatting that it deserves. So you just select it as well. So you can just merge them and center them as well. So basically we are good to go with that. You can just select the entire columns and then give it a whole bodies. So you can just select that. I think we are good to go from here. So we need to give this unique color for male. So you can select this and then we do that. So we need a unique color for that. So I think uh, this color looks cool. Let's just go ahead and format the cells at once. Times New Roman, they we want the cells to be, the, the, the text to be bold. So the moment we do this, when we type whatever it needs, it will take the same formatting. So we would like to increase the size of the fonts to 12. I think that's okay. So let's do the same thing to female and then give it a unique color. So just after selecting the first cell, Press and hold control key on the keyboard and do the rest, the selection. After doing this as well, so we just uh, select this and then give it also unique color. So that is that. So with the total, need this, so we just select this as well. Press and hold control key on the keyboard. Let's give it the select the rest and give them a unique color. Sorry, we haven't done this format in here. Okay. So we are okay here too. So let's just give it a unique color as well. Uh, I think this color looks good. So we are good to go. Let's just format the source. We haven't done that for the female. So bold it and then increase the font size a bit to 12. So let's do the same thing for female. You can see the formatting is a bit so look at this. So let's give it the same thing. So press and hold control and select the rest. So Times New Roman. 
and then we want the text to be to be centered so i think this is okay so this is okay like that so i think we are good to go with that so we need the total here total for all and all that so i think let's just check on that so we have total for male here so you can merge it and center total for female you can merge it and center and then the grand total for all merge and center as well so this two merge and center so you can just uh, go for this and then oh undo this action sorry so you can just merge it and then center it so select this you go to format and then you want to give it the same format in here so i think we are good to go that's all so let's give this a red color red background color this should be yellow and then this should be green deep green so we are good to go for that so i think uh, oh gosh it's just uh, okay this is this is okay this is okay so we are done with that as well so let's just see if we can give it the same format as others so control and hold there so times new increase the sex text should be in the center so you make sure this is selected this is selected text in the center so i think we are good to go here as well so let's just check on another thing else what we need to do here again is uh, to get we'll be needing some headings here for the inserting of mail image in word where we can do the auto counting of the data here on the word that is microsoft office word um, file for the mbc information so let's just go ahead and get the various headings here up and running so we have uh, the class here that is kg1 yes, this is kg okay now uh, i don't want this video to be too long let me end this here and then in the next video we continue with that so let's control and save this and then in our next lesson we continue with the ms student ms data information creation so control s to save till our next lesson i say thank you very much for watching and then bye for now